We have Michael Van Loon, who was going to be five and has instead asked me for ten because uh, he wants to uh, add to your store of arcane and useless knowledge by sharing how smart pointer sausage is made. <laughs> All right, I'm not really, but um, as anybody who's worn the button uh, can attest, they aren't really a doctor. Um, so yes, what do we want to know about uh, arcane and useless knowledge? Uh, because it's early in the morning, we probably haven't had enough coffee. So uh, what's a smart pointer? Most of you guys probably know most of this stuff, but uh, for those who need a refresher or maybe want to know a little bit more, um, the basics are, it's a container. Um, it holds a pointer, pretty basic. But the, the cool thing is that it facilitates RAII, which means that, of course, it constructs with reasonable defaults. Um, you don't have a, uh, a pointer that's holding some random value that may look like memory because you forgot to initialize it. Um, it also, even more importantly, cleans itself up when it's time to do that. There's various ways that they might do that, and we're gonna talk about those. Um, and it may convey some interface semantics, which is nice. If you have a unique pointer, obviously it's unique. Uh, you can't share it. And so it, it's, it's good if that's clear in your interface. If you have a shared pointer, it implies you're sharing the pointer. Um, it's a proxy, which means that you can use it in place of the pointer in, in many circumstances. That's kind of the whole point. Um, so some examples, uh, auto pointer, scope pointer, unique pointer, shared pointer, weak pointer, um, a couple of com pointers. Um, there are many others, of course. These are generic smart pointers. They're whole, they'll hold pointers of just about any type. There are many domain specific smart pointers. Um, uh, smart pointer, we're kind of abusing the term a little bit here. They're really smart containers. Um, string is one. It, it contains your string properly. It deallocates it when nobody's using it. Um, it has reasonable initialization defaults. Um, Windows has some um, uh, Beaster T, variant T is a cool one because it's this variant type. It knows how to properly contain and manage it. Um, so different kinds of reference counting. Um, well, there's, uh, I, I use object-based reference counting and container-based reference counting as my terms because I like them better than intrusive is one that uh, Boost likes to use. It's, it's been used in other places too. Um, an object-based reference count means the count is stored in the object. Um, this is similar to the, the COM model that Microsoft uses a lot. It's been around forever and ever. Um, I don't like the, the term intrusive because obviously we're doing this with the cooperation of the object. It was an intentional interface design. So we're not really intruding on it. We're, we're doing it in cooperation. But the fact that we're calling the object and asking it to do things with its reference is why it's called intrusive. And of course, uh, container-based reference counting is, is the shared pointer style. We're all familiar with, hopefully. Um, the object-based reference counting model has the advantage that it's uh, uh, the smart pointer logic is very simple. The smart pointer for, an, for, for one of these is basically just add ref and delete, or add ref and release, or whatever you want to call the, the interface. Um, I won't go over everything because we don't have that much time. Um, but basically, uh, it, can, it can add a little bit of complexity to your object, but the, the smart pointer container is simpler. Um, also, it, it's easier to pass through, say, C interfaces because you can pass around the raw pointers and you're still calling the add refs and release on the pointer. You're not having to manage it. Whereas with a shared pointer, um, we need to, uh, of course, uh, with exceptions, um, make sure that we pass around the shared pointers themselves because they have to know about each other since they share a common, uh, a common theme. Um, so, how it works, object-based reference counting. That's about all I'm gonna talk about because, uh, you know, it's, it's not the common case. Um, auto pointer, one of the original smart pointers. Um, it contains a raw pointer and an ownership flag. Uh, the ownership is transferred um, to the, the last guy, basically, who got um, the pointer, which means it's problematic because maybe that's not the guy who, who should be destroying the thing. And so it's deprecated because we have better stuff now. Um, scope pointer, unique pointer. Scope pointer is a boost thing. Uh, unique pointer is a C++ 11 pointer that's an improvement on scope pointer. 
Um, does not allow transfer of ownership, obviously, scoped and unique. Um, that's intentional. It, it makes it much simpler and uh, makes it more efficient. Um, also, conveys the, the inter interface semantics that it's unique, right? Um, the unique pointer also has the, the option of having a custom deleter, which is a function that you can pass in that says, uh, when it's time to destroy this thing, instead of calling delete, I want you to do this, um, which is a nice way to clean up resources. Um, somebody, I don't remember, maybe it was Bjarne, um, yesterday was talking about, uh, well, what if you're using malloc? Um, well, here's a good way. You, you use a custom deleter that does free instead of delete. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, so shared pointer. Uh, I, th I think most of us are familiar with shared pointer, but basically it's a reference counted container that contains your pointer. And um, hopefully, if, if, if you're using it properly, um, the last user of it is the one who releases the, the last reference and everything goes out of scope. Um, so I don't have a laser pointer. I'm gonna use my, my mouse. So hopefully it's accurate enough. Um, and I, of course, didn't have time to make these slides even more fancy and detailed. So we're doing it this way. Um, shared pointer basically uh, is, is a, a complex design where you have your shared pointer, the thing that you've declared, and it uh, is a shared pointer to a type. Internally, it contains, now this is a, a logical representation. This isn't how it's implemented in every compiler, obviously. There, there are some, some differences, but um, this just gives you an idea of, of how it's put together logically. Um, there's a pointer to the thing that you're containing, obviously. Um, and there's also a, a pointer to a reference count container. And this is the thing that's shared among all the shared pointers. Now, if I were to say, take shared pointer P1 and create a shared pointer P2 that is assigned from P1, they are going to contain uh, references to the same reference count container. And inside here, there's a strong reference count, a weak reference count, a T pointer, and a deleter. Um, the strong reference count is gonna go from one to two because now we have two references to this thing. Um, inside here, we also, of course, have a pointer to T and our deleter. Why do we have a pointer here and a pointer here? I know that's a question. Um, obviously, you need it here because if you have a deleter function, well, even if you don't have a deleter function, if you're using delete, you still need to have the pointer so you can delete it, right? But do we really want to dereference a pointer every time we need the answer to give me my pointer? No, it's, it's much more efficient if we can just pull it straight out of here. But we can also do cool tricks like a, a, a dynamic cast to a related type and get a shared pointer back to that. Say T2 is derived from T, and we want a shared pointer to T2. Um, from P1 or P2. We can do that. Um, inside here, we're going to get a container that has a T2 pointer and a reference to the same block because obviously um, they refer to the same object. Cool stuff we can do. Um, an optimization that we can make. Um, because when you're using these kind of paradigms, it's really nice to not have to explicitly ever use delete or new. Um, the shared pointer itself, of course, makes it so that we don't have to use delete, which is nice. Um, how can we avoid using new? Well, there's this thing called make shared. And uh, one effect is that it does the new for you. Um, the uh, other cool thing is it can be a little bit more optimal. And the reason why is it's capable of uh, most, uh, I should say, many impl implementations can allocate the uh, shared pointer and the reference block all in one memory allocation. A little more efficient. Chandler will like this, even though it's you know got links and things because this is one block. More cache locality. Um, he gets picked on a lot, doesn't he? Uh, the uh, the cool thing is so it, it's it's the, it's a, a little bit more compact. It's a little more efficient, and it's also uh, capable of. Um, uh, I was going to say something, but now it just flew out of my head. Um, so anyway, the, the rest of it works the same way as the, the other shared pointer. Um, of course, since it's all allocated here, there's a little bit more complex about deleting the last reference, but it all works. Um, enabled shared from this has a cool feature 
uh, it's a cool feature that we have as well because one of the things that I said was a weakness with shared pointers that you can't really pass the raw pointer around and then you get another shared pointer from it unless you do something like this enabled share from this is a class that you can derive from and it uh, makes your object aware of its shared pointer uh, the reference count block and the way that it does that is um, there's some magic inside enabled share from this that uh, takes the so this is my object. I've I'm derived from enabled share from this. Um, it requires that somebody's created a shared pointer first to your object, and so maybe you've done a make shared. Well, in this case, you haven't because we don't have the block embedded. But say you've you've created your object with, and you've put in a shared pointer. Now there is a shared pointer block. Um, if I ask, say I get the raw pointer and I ask um, my object for another shared pointer. Um, it can use the knowledge of this, uh, this link here and give me back a new shared pointer that knows about the shared reference and can do the right thing. Um, and that's kind of how that stuff's all glued together. I'm t 20 seconds over, so my summary is uh, use smart pointers. Um, they're the right way to do things to avoid news and deletes. Prefer unique pointer, it's more efficient. Use shared pointer if you have to. Uh, use make share to be more efficient. Um, consider the object-based reference counting model if it fits your paradigm better.